Hey, how's it going? This is Dave XP, and today I'm going to be breaking down the process I use to paint eyes in Photoshop. So, let's just get to it. Okay, so first I'm just going to show you the layers that I already have on this composition. First we have this sketch. This is basically just some guidelines for the pupils and the eyelids. The color palette are the colors that I already chose for this drawing. Then we have the eyelashes, which are basically this outline shape for the main eyes. And here you can see that I already did the shading, the face shape and everything about the face, so we can only concentrate on the eyes. So, the shading layer is using the bottom layer's shape. This means that if I disable this, you can see that the shading just goes all over the place. So, for the shading to use the face shapes area, you can just hit Alt and click on the middle of both layers. This means that whatever I paint on the shading layer, it will only appear inside the face shapes area. This might sound a little complicated, but I will explain everything along the way. Now, for the eyelashes, I decided not to make them from scratch, just for this tutorial, but I will quickly show you the process I used to make them. I used the brush called Hairbrush, and I used the opacity on 32 and the flow on 100%. Now, the reason I chose 32% for the brush opacity is because it usually works very, very well for soft surfaces like the hair. So instead of making just one hard stroke, I can just make a lot of softer ones, make more on some areas than others until I achieve the result I'm looking for. Now, for the thinner parts of the eyelashes, I use the brush called Outline, this time with the opacity on 100% just because this little part works much better as a heart shape. So this is basically how I drew these eyelashes. So I'll delete this example and we can keep going. Now this shade of black is working here, but I believe this corner will look better with a brighter color. So for that, I'm choosing one of these soft brushes. So to pick one of these colors, just hit Alt and hold on to the left click. You can move over all the colors and when you find the right one, just release the click. Now, I'm going to pick this brown color to paint the corners of the eyelashes. Now, if I paint over this layer just as it is, you can see that I'm painting over everything. And what we want to do is to paint only inside the eyelashes shape. So to do that, we just need to activate this button right here. This is called the clipping mask and you know it's on when you see this little lock icon right here. And now you can actually paint inside the eyelashes shape. This is super convenient uh, when you're working with layers on digital art in general. So remember, clipping mask, see this uh, explanation as many times as you can and it makes everything much much easier to work with and to correct if, if you need so. so now we're going to select the face shape layer because we need to make the eye socket holes. So for that we select the eraser tool and just start erasing around this area. Now, to erase these big uh, chunks, I'm going to use the lasso tool. So, we just make this first selection. For the next one, make sure this button is on, so it adds to the previous selection. So, we select the second one, and when we are done with it, just hit delete. Now, we just need to fill these eye sockets with some color. So we're going to make a new layer by clicking on this button and we're going to name the layer white. With the lasso tool, I'm going to make a selection around both eyes and to fill them up, I'm just going to pick the bucket tool. As I said before, you just have to hold Alt so you can choose whatever color you want. In this case, I'm going to choose this gray one. And now you can just turn off this selection. Now we're going to make the pupils. So we're going to make a new layer and we name it. For the brush on this one, I'm going to use the one name outline and I'm going to make it a little smaller than it is. So I'm going to choose this shade of black and to be able to draw it better, I need to make the sketch layer just a little more subtle. So I can just lower its opacity right here on this section. So now we go back to the layer of the pupil. 
Now to actually draw the circle, I'm going to be using a plugin called Lazy Nesumi Pro. And what this does is that it basically helps you to make better tracings, like straight lines, circles, perspectives, or even make your regular tracings just a little more smoother. So right now I'm just going to pick the ellipse tool. This is the one that makes drawing circles much, much easier. So now you just have to drag the center of this tool to the center of the pupil. And then you can just draw the circle. Then I'm going to pick the bucket tool and just click inside the circle to fill it up more quickly. And as you can see, there's some leftovers, so we just need to paint over those. Great, so now I'm going to make the iris. So I just created a new layer and I'm going to name it iris. And again, with the Alt key, I'm going to pick one of these slightly brighter colors and just draw the iris. Now, as you can see, this iris shape is just a little bigger than the pupil shape. So I'm going to hit Alt and click in the middle of both layers. This will make the iris to use the pupil's clipping mask. Okay, now I'm going to make a new layer for the outline and I need this outline to follow the pupil's clipping mask. So again, we just hold Alt and click in the middle of both layers. So now I'm just picking this black color and just draw a very thin outline. Cool, now that I don't need the circle tool anymore, we're done with the circles, I can just go back to the plugin and just change the settings back to subtle. Now, I want to make this outline to look just a little softer, so for that we just go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping the value very very low because I just need a very subtle effect, I don't, I don't need much. So when everything is looking good, just hit OK. Now we just need to duplicate this and move it to the other side. So you can just click on one layer, hold shift and click on the further one. Now, if you drag these layers over the new layer button, this will duplicate them. So now that we have some new layers, we can just go to the move tool and move them to the other side. Now, if you want to move them on a straight line, you can just hold shift and just drag the layers around. Now I want to have both the outlines, the iris and pupils in just one layer each, just because it's more convenient that way. So I'm going to quickly disable the clipping mask by just holding Alt and click in the middle of the layers. So now to merge them together, you just have to select one, hold Ctrl and click on the second one. Then you can just right click and hit on merge layers. And now I'm just going to do the same for the rest of them. Now I just have to activate again the clipping mask for the iris and the outline. So once again, just have to hold Alt and click in the middle of both layers. Okay, now we are going to work on the white part of the eyes. And for that, I'm just going to pick one of the big soft brushes. And before I even start with, with this shading and just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create the five layers ahead of time. So that'll be a uh, gray, pink, red, white, and black layers. So we want all of these layers to follow the white layers clipping mask. So one more time, we just have to hold Alt and click on the middle of the layers. So don't pick a color yet that it's too dark because it's supposed to be subtle. So we can keep building up from here. Next, I'm going to the pink layer. And again, it's basically just a very, very subtle shade of pink. And I'm using a smaller brush for this one than the one I used before. For the inner corners though, I'm gonna pick a bigger brush because it's much, much easier to just paint on the center of both eyes because it affects both equally. Now I'm going for the red layer. And again, as I'm moving forward, I'm trying to pick smaller brushes. So I'm just picking this shade of red and just paint this red area. 
for this part again I'm picking a bigger brush so I can just paint on the center of both eyes so it affects both corners now with the white layer I'm just going to color pick the white color that we already have and just make it a little brighter now I can just paint this subtle shade of white on the center of both eyes now the last one is the black layer and for this one I'm gonna be using a smaller brush than the ones I've been using for all the five layers the main reason for this black layer is to blend in the color from the eyelashes and the white layer so it doesn't feel like there's two different layers but that it feels blend in now i need to do the same thing for the iris layer so i'm going to select the layer and i need to activate the clipping mask so that i can paint inside the iris area and now I can just paint this shade of black on the top of the iris. So this way it kind of blends in with the thing I did before with the black shade on the white layer. Now there's some leftovers here on the eyelashes. They have some shade of red that I don't really want. So I'm just going to quickly paint them black. Now for the next step, I'm going to quickly turn off the sketch layer. What I want to do is that I want this circle to have a white edge around it. So I'm just going to duplicate the pupil by just dragging it to the new layers button. When I create a new layer like this, on this way, the layers above, they lose the clipping mask. So I'm just moving the new layer below and I'm activating again the clipping mask. So I'm going to grab this new layer and I need to make it completely white. So for that, it's very easy. Just go to image adjustment and hue and saturation then you can just grab the lightness move it to 100 and just hit ok so as you can see now i have this completely white version of the pupil behind the original one now to make it appear behind the pupil i'm just going to go to filter blur and gaussian blur this will just make the layer a little bigger and softer making this nice outline around the pupil and i'm going to use one of the blending modes called soft light and as the name says this will only make the outline to blend in a little better with all the colors so now i just want to add a little more detail to the iris so on the brushes section i'm just going to pick the one named hairbrush and i'm going to color pick one of the slightly brighter colors and just paint a little more detail And I'm going to use a soft brush just to make this corner a little more subtle. Now I'm going to be making the shape for the eyelids. And this new layer I'm going to make needs to be inside the face shapes clipping mask. Because otherwise we will be drawing all over the eyes and we don't want that. So I can just create a new layer and drop it here so it follows the face shapes clipping mask. Now I'm just going to pick the hairbrush and just make it a little smaller. Now. I'm going to bring the sketch back because I already planned where I'm going to draw the eyelids. So let's just go back to the layer and just start drawing the shape. Okay, now that that shape is done, we need to duplicate it. So we just drag it here to the new layers button. Now to flip it over, we just go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Now with the Move tool, we just hold Shift and drag it over to the other side. So I want these two eyelids to be in just one layer for convenience, so I'm just going to merge them up. And now we don't really need the sketch anymore, so I'm just going to turn it off. Now I'm just going to turn on the clipping mask for the eyelids layer. Then select one of the soft brushes, one of the big ones, and then just pick one light brown color to paint the highlights. Now, I still need to blend in just a little bit more the eyes with the face. So I'm gonna go and pick one of the small soft brushes, and over here I'm just creating a new layer and name it Eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go and pick a middle brown color over here and we can just start painting the shadows around both eyes. Okay. 
Okay, now this is the part that is really going to make the eyes pop and it's called the speculars. It's basically just this main reflective point of light on round surfaces. So I'm just gonna go and pick the brush named hairbrush. We can color pick one of the brightest uh, gray colors and just paint this point of light over the eyes. And the trick for me is actually just to grab a soft eraser and just erase half of it. <laughs> this way it just looks more like a reflection. Okay, now I'm just going to duplicate it and move it to the other side. And then I'm just going to quickly merge both layers together. Now I need to duplicate this layer because I want to give it a glow effect. So we just go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna keep it at 5 and just hit OK. Next I'm going to make a smaller version of these speculars. And for that I'm going to pick a smaller brush and just paint these little points of light. And to make it softer we just have to go and add some Gaussian Blur. Ok, now I'm doing pretty much the same for the side speculars. I'm just gonna paint these points of light, then just again grab an eraser and just erase half of it. Now I'm just going to pick the blending mode called soft light. This will just make the layer look a little more integrated with the drawing itself. Now I'm just going to duplicate it, but since this side is a little bit darker than the other, I can just go and lower the opacity for this layer. Okay, now this is the last part. We're just gonna make a quick reflection effect. So for that, I'm gonna pick a hair brush and just one of the bright colors from the pupils. Since I need to make a circle, I'm just gonna go and open again the Laziness Me Pro plugin and choose the Ellipse tool. So the key is to make the circle about halfway of the pupil. So we can just trace the circle, fill it up with the bucket tool and just paint over the leftovers. Now we don't need the plugin anymore, so we can just change it back to subtle. Now the opacity, I'm going to lower it down to about 30%. Then I just like to take a big eraser and then just erase um, half, but probably more than half of the circle. And again, I just have to duplicate the layer and just move it to the other side. And here I'm just going to erase some of the leftovers and we're done. So there you go. This was a very in-depth look into my process. I, I don't usually make videos this, this long, but if you like this kind of content, just make sure to let me know so I can keep making these kind of videos. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.